Hi guys, first, hey. thank you for taking the time to talk with me about Alita Battle Angel because it is everything I wanted from the movie. Oh. It was amazing. Awesome. Um, as a fan of the original franchise, congratulations on all the hard work. So the first question I have is why Alita? What was the project or what was the thing about the project when you were first introduced to it that really kind of sparked all of your attentions? Because there's, there's so much history behind this franchise from its origination in Japan to when it came to America. Now it's live action and we're here talking about it. Yeah, I was definitely inspired by seeing what Yukito Koshiro was making at such a young age. I mean, I think he came out with the first book when he was 18 or 19 years old. So one that you know kicked me in the butt and made me want to work a little bit harder on my, <laughs> no, my, God, my right? things. Um, mm -hmm. But then on top of that, to know that, you know, if they were going to make a movie of it, you know, to put it in the hands of James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez, who, you know, Robert isn't isn't new to adapting and and making, you know, Sin, Sin City. You can look at the Sin City stills and you're able to look at the, the comic book and see the exact replica. Mm -hmm. um, so I knew it was probably in good hands. I wish I could say that, you know, it was the right next project for me, but I was I was trying to book anything at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was just so happy for Robert and, you know, Jim to give me a chance. And for either of you, um, either Lana or Jorge, I had a question about, um, you know, your characters are kind of peripheral in the friend group that Alita has. They're just such fun characters, and also they're like terrifying at motorball. Like, I would not want to like go against you guys ever. Um, so I just wanted to know, what was it like filming those scenes, especially in like the practice arena? Um, because I feel like motorball, if it could like be made in real life, would be like the best thing ever, but also like I would not ever want to be even close to it because I'd probably get killed. <laughs> Which, bad. No, yeah, it's definitely a pretty intense sport. But as far as, uh, as filming the the scrimmage, the ones that we that we did on the on the Iron City Plaza, mm. uh, well, first of all, we all relearned how to rollerblade again, some better than others, and then uh, you know we we just got down to it and and tried uh, you know nailing our lines with with uh -huh. wheels on our feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I tried. I gave it a good old college try. I did. Mm -hmm. And I can start and kind of stop. I can start and do a rolling stop if there's a wall in front of me. <laughs> but you know what? I tried my best, but we had amazing, amazing stunt doubles um, who were professional uh, roller skaters uh, that came in. And But it was really, really fun. And it was really fun to watch the, our stunt doubles and, and the stunt team in general just mm. whipping around. They're very high-level athletes. And for my final question, um, I think the story of Alita is just so important and pertinent. Her as a character and her just belief in heroism is just such an inspirational thing to see, especially for women and girls and just anybody who sees the movie. Um, I mean, she's super intense. I just love you go at the bar, it's just like, I'm with her. Yeah. Like, I'm with her. How rare do you hear that Just, one? I'm with her, let her be. Um, so I just wanted to know, for any of you um, who have kind of thoughts about it, what is it that you think um, Alita's story has that's so important for you know audiences to hear and see right now? She finds herself in a circumstance that she doesn't want to be in, and she uses that to propel herself into changing her circumstances. Mm -hmm. And I think that just goes for anyone who feels the same way, or for anyone that feels insignificant to one, you know, uh, they, they can change that if they want to. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, the only person that's stopping them is themselves. And I think, you know, Alita really shows that, uh, you know, through the course of the film.